Here is a roundup of sports events and developments in Singapore in the past week 13 to August 20. The Singapore National Women's Dragon Boat Team clinched a bronze medal at the 16th International Dragon Boat Federation IDBF World Championships in Rayong Pattaya, Thailand. The senior A women's team came in third in the DB12 200M event at the prestigious championships, which was hosted by Rowing and Canoeing Association of Thailand and IDBF from 7 to August 13. With teams from 20 countries participating in over 250 events. The Singapore Dragon Boat Association's national senior team was established in 2021 and is dedicated to training and excelling on the international platform. To donate or sponsor the association, please contact Razel at spa.op.sg or visit their giving.sg page. Starhub will be streaming all 48 matches at the 2023 Rugby World Cup from September 8 to October 28. New and existing Sports Plus customers need not pay more to enjoy the competition. With a Sports Plus Pass $25.22 per month with a two-year contract, they will be able to catch the matches at home or on the go via the StarHub TV Plus box or TV Plus app. All matches will be broadcasted on Bean Sports Rugby on StarHub Chapter 212, with pre-band programs available from September 1st. Additionally, Sports Plus customers can access the Bean Sports Connect app to catch up on all Rugby World Cup matches on the go. The Rugby World Cup will be held in France and will see 20 teams, including defending champions South Africa and world number one Ireland taking part. The opening match will see France against New Zealand on September 9, while the final will take place at State de France on October 28. The Singapore under-22 men's national football team head coach Nasri Nasir has called up a squad of 26 players for centralised training in preparation for the 2024 AFC U23 Asian Cup qualifiers in September. Singapore's qualifying games will be held in Vietnam from 6 to September 12, and the U22's training will include a training camp in Bangkok from Monday, August 21 to September 3. They will be playing a series of friendlies against North Bangkok University, Bangkok United and the Thailand U23 team prior to competing in Vietnam. A final squad of 23 players will be announced after the completion of the centralized training in early September. Provisional squad, goalkeepers, Wayne Chu, Pratik Ikamparam, Ezel Yazid, Yumer Sujuandi. Defenders, Bal Mamadou, Kiran Esari, Kiran Teo, Ekel Mohamed, Faris Fesli Ko, Na Adam Abdullah. Rian Sanizel, Ilan Na, Jordan Amavu. Midfooders, RJ Robson, Iman Hakim, Jared Gallagher, Azim Alba, Elijah Lim, Hori Stewart, Fahan Zalkifli, Na Muhammad Assis Ijarali. Forwards, Hazik Kamarudin, Abdul Razak, Sikos Chua, Saifai Redzun, Saihat Masnawi. The Football Association of Singapore FAS Council announced on Friday, August 18th that it has called for the election of the FAS president for the remaining term of the Council 2021-2025 at the, the 41st FAS Annual Congress at Sheraton Towers, Singapore, on September 23rd. Candidates for the FAS president office must have played an active role in football, for example, as board member, committee member, or an official within FIFA, a confederation, an association, or an ordinary member of FES for two of the last five years. Nomination forms can be collected at the FES headquarters at Jalan Bisa Stadium from now until August 31st. All nomination forms must be delivered by hand to the FES General Secretariat before 6 p.m. on August 31st. The second edition of the Cycle for Hope fundraising campaign by the Singapore Cycling Federation SCF raised more than $200.
0-0-0-0-0 for the Singapore Cancer Society SCS and SCF's Children Academy. The campaign was launched on June 17, and 664 participants took part in the cycling challenge over the two months. Covering 156,748 kilometers, with $81,959 raised for the beneficiaries. A total of 16 corporate donors also raised $145,000 in support for the campaign. The cycling challenge concluded on Sunday, August 20th, with a leisure ride at the OCBC Arena Park. With guest of honor Bei Yam King, Senior Parliamentary Secretary for Transport and Sustainability and the Environment, participating in the ride. About 70% of the funds raised will be channeled to the SCS, while 30% would go towards developing SCS Children Academy and high performance developmental programs, including the development of a new BMX track. Former national swimmer Mark Tay who was the first recipient of the Singapore Sports Boy of the Year Award in 1978, died on Tuesday, August 15, at age 63. The Straits Times reported that the cause of death has not been confirmed. Tay donned national colours from 1973 to 1982 and became the first local swimmer to break the 56-second mark in the men's 100-metre freestyle with a 55.85 seconds effort at the 1977 Kuala Lumpur SEA Games. He won two golds, three silvers and three bronzes from four editions of the Biennial Games. Outside of the pool, Tay was an ophthalmologist. He was in the 30-member Singapore Armed Forces Medical Team, which spent 54 days on a humanitarian mission in Riyadh between January and March 1991, giving medical care to the wounded in the Gulf War. Tickets for the Tour de France Prudential Singapore Criterium are on sale since Friday, August 18, and those who purchase their tickets early are entitled to a $30 Suntec shopping voucher, with limited vouchers available. The, the 28th and the 29th of October event will be held around a new Suntec City Street circuit, and tickets for the event together with the after party featuring top DJ KSHMR are priced at $68. The race weekend will kick off with a host of fringe activities at Suntec City, as well as the Singapore Criterium team presentation. There will also be a kids' ride that parents can sign their children up for. At $50 for either a slot in the 6 to 9 year old or 10 to 12 year old category. The 3 km street circuit will see 32 cyclists from 8 of the world's top professional teams set off from Temasek Boulevard for a 19 minute race. The street circuit includes iconic landmarks such as the War Memorial Park, the Esplanade Singapore, the Merlion, and the Fountain of Wealth. Independent Reserve the first licensed cryptocurrency exchange in Singapore is sponsoring the inaugural World Corporate Golf Challenge in support of Community Chest. The event will be held on September 6 at Sentosa Golf Club and is set to feature up to 25 corporate teams from 15 companies. The winning team will represent Singapore and compete against 33 countries at the World Corporate Golf Challenge final at Tenerife, Spain from 2 to October 6. At least 50% of the cash registration fees will go to Community Chest. And proceeds will go towards more than 100 social service agencies supported by the organization.